What is happening? Chris here from That Tattoo Show and today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Hover Power Supply from FK Irons. All that will be coming up after the intro. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Chris. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification buttons and all that stuff just to keep up to date with everything that we do. Before we go any further, I just want to be completely transparent and upfront with everybody. This was sent to me free of charge so I can review it, compare it and let you guys know what I think of it. FK Irons have no say in what I think or say or put in this video about these power supplies and any of these products you never get to see it until you guys get to see it the dark lab hover from fkins it is the first touchless power supply that has been developed in the tattoo industry and it is also the first power supply that fkins have actually made as far as i can wait it's like the first they kind of literally they've come to market and just chucked out something that's just like poof, fucking have that Anyway, um, I was very, very apprehensive about gesture control, as I am with all gesture control, especially from my experience with tattoo machines. Uh, that being said, the gesture control on this is completely different. I don't have to fucking hold up the power supply and move it around like that. Some of my concerns I had were how sensitive it was going to be, as, it, as in, like, is it not going to be sensitive enough? So I've been using it, I've been testing it. Uh, obviously quite limited because we've been in a lockdown first impressions of this power supply i've got to say it's really well put together you know i honestly don't expect anything less from the major companies out there i, I expect high kind of standards from everybody with this you've got a nice aluminium body you've got like these strips on the side that light up you've got an oled display depending on which way you like your orientation of the power unit if you like your cables kind of sticking upwards or downwards you can change the orientation by 180 degrees it's also got programmed kind of like memory bank so you can preset different voltage and electronic give specs depending on what machine you use now the app is out you can download it you can update the firmware on this then you have electronic give and you can just control the electronic give via the power supply you don't really need the app once it's done there is a video that i've made about electronic give so check it out on the channel it goes through the lightning bolt the hover and also using the app with the flux but like i said once you've downloaded that app and you've done the firmware update you don't really need to use it unless you want to do another firmware update uh, so yeah it is really good the voltage range goes from like two volts up to 17 and the price of this it is on the higher end in comparison to some of the other power supplies that i've reviewed so you're looking at about 426 pounds as a price point for this power supply now some people will think that is expensive some people will not think that's expensive but what i would say is it all depends on what you want out of a power supply if you just want something that's plug and play yeah a cheap one's going to do you if you want something that's got all the gadgets in there and this one has got all the gadgets then it's going to be worth paying that extra bit of money and it's all tax deductible and also in all fairness like in my entire career i've probably only bought like three power supplies so they do last it's got an anti-slip base with magnets as well so it sticks to your workstation or wherever you want to put it and it won't slide off when it comes to wrapping you don't necessarily need to wrap it because it's hover it's touchless you know you don't have to worry about cross-contamination but i would always advise wrap it now for me uh, I've just wrapped it with cling film and that seems to work fine but they have advised if you want to use barrier film there are specific ones you need to use basically you want to be using a barrier film that has a clear glue and you don't want anything to obstruct the sensor either use clear glue barrier film or just use cling film and happy days it's got three control options for the hover one is the A control you just hover it over on the top the other is a standard foot switch and they will have compatibility for a wireless foot switch. Now, I don't know when that's going to be in development or when it's going to be coming out. So another feature that this power supply has, it's got a kind of like a dual timer. So you can time your overall session length, but also you can time how long your tattoo machine's running for. This is the first power supply where I've had to actually read the manual in my entire life. And because it's such a shiny, shiny, shiny thing, you also get this nice little kind of cloth to get your fingerprints off it, which actually doubles as a nice glasses cleaner actually so let me just clean my spectacles there we go i don't know what to say really like a lot of people are probably gonna be like 426 pounds like oh, i'm not spending on a fucking on a power supply but you get what you pay for when it comes to quality the build quality is good you've got a usb and a usb type c power output it's got bluetooth connectivity it can be updated by firmware updates you know it's it's got a lot of what I've been kind of saying that I want from a power supply in this day and age because 
when we can eventually go traveling again, I want to be able to have as little stuff with me as possible. And if I can just take that and plug my USB stuff into it, like my iPad, charge my machines off and things like that, just have it there as a backup in case my batteries go out and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just put my, put my motorboat in there and whatnot. Yeah, I, for me, I think it's worth it. Uh, obviously, I'm going to do more testing. We're going to do a full in-depth review. This is just my kind of like, this is what I think of it. I'm going to use it for a while. We'll do a couple of months down the line and, you know, really give you a good answer of what I think of it and how I think it compares with the other power supplies that we have. And also, it won't just be my opinion. I'll just give it to the lads in the shop and uh, they can test it as well because I'm getting accused of being a fanboy, innit? I'll, I'll get other people's opinions, but <laughs> jokes aside, I want to try and be as honest as I can with my opinion and, uh, and as unbiased as I can. The good products will speak for themselves. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification buttons and, and all that stuff. And I'll see you in another video. Take it easy. Thank you. Boom.